In this video I want to show you how to use Logic's built-in tools to map MIDI notes or audio pitch to any scale. I will walk you through piano roll quantize functions, MIDI transpose plugin that can correct notes, audio pitch correction, and tuning options and give you a few extra tips. This is going to be especially useful if you struggle with music theory or want to learn what Logic offers in terms of pitch manipulation. Here is a short arrangement that I will be using as an example. First, let's talk about MIDI. I have a simple lead line here. If I would want to modulate it, there is a scale quantize feature, where you can select a root note and scale. You can see that notes have been corrected to match the notes of selected scale, C major in this case. Also, if you have decided which scale to work in, you can switch to a brush tool and start drawing MIDI notes. Brush will map all the notes for you. You can see that C sharp is impossible to draw, because it doesn't belong to C minor scale. If you work with melodic lines, this is a convenient way of editing single notes, but it doesn't work so well with chords. Let's try quantizing this progression to a major scale. Here we see that some notes were pushed up to the nearest position in major scale, but by doing so intervals in those chords were changed. Because this C note is present both in minor and major scale. Makes perfect sense to the algorithm. But B chord consists of B, D and F notes. If you understand harmony, you can always fix that, otherwise you could use MIDI chords. I have put together a few basic MIDI chords. Feel free to download them. I'm going to leave a link below. You can drag them into your session and transpose it up or down. Here I have C minor 7 chord, and if I duplicate it and transpose 6 semitones up, it will become F minor 7 chord, or 8 semitones up to G minor 7. That approach could be useful for people who don't play keys or struggle with music theory. I'm planning to build an extensive library of MIDI chords soon and share it with you. For now you can try those basic ones, link is in the description. Another way to stay within scale would be programming your chords in step sequencer. It's not as flexible as piano roll editor but it comes with a big collection of scale templates. So you won't miss a note. There is a way to display scale notes in Piano Roll too, but it takes some preparation. Let me show you. Here I have placed C minor scale notes and muted them, so if I collapse Piano Roll, it will display the keys that are used in this region. And you can actually hide those notes, and it will still detect them. If all that is too much work for you, or you want to play live, there is Transposer MIDI plugin which can correct notes in real time. And like scale quantize, it will push wrong notes to the closest active key. You can hear that some notes jump an octave higher. There is a similar way to process audio regions. In Logic it's called pitch correction, or some note is auto-tune. You can use this effect to fix the pitch of incoming audio signals. What you could do with all this baby Set in the mood I'll be overlaid it comes with simple scale presets, or you could limit output to certain keys. Let's try C minor chord, C, D sharp, and F note. What you could do with all this, baby? Set in the mood, I'll be over later. Change response speed for faster correction. What you could do with all this, baby? Set in the mood, I'll be over later. It's not very precise, but those tuning artifacts became an effect on its own. And like with MIDI, wrong notes will be transposed to the closest selected key. If you can't get good results with pitch correction or want more control over intonations, you could use flex pitch. 
It detects pitch in audio and lets you edit it as MIDI. Final result will be much sharper than autotune. And you can edit vibrato, shift formants and more. And that's it for today. Now you can correct any wrong note in the audio or MIDI regions and easily stay in the key. Until next time.